Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are doing gameplay with the brand new Ruby Jaden McDaniels. I'm excited to try this card out, man. I think he's got the potential to be really, really good at the small forward position as a three and D budget monster. 32K for this Jaden McDaniels card as a whole. I think the pyramid of power wound up being a pretty big letdown. Um, luckily, the Embiid content yesterday definitely helped save that addition to the Rivals Week stuff. But uh, I do think there's a couple of good rubies. Jaden McDaniels as well as Tabo Cephalosha both looking super duper good as ruby cards. And this Jaden McDaniels card, I mean, he's six foot nine at small forward. I think he's going to be an incredible defender. As long as he's solid enough offensively, I think he's going to be a monster. Before we hop into it, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help me push towards the 18,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. Trying to hit that by the end of January. We're less than 200 subscribers away, so we're almost there. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, Jaden McDaniels is six foot nine at small forward, 82 offense, 99 defense, 80 driving layup, 95 close shot, 89 mid range, 87 three ball, 80 driving dunk, 84 free throw. Ball handling, you need a ball handle shoe plus Coach Dan Tony to have a chance at time bursting. Otherwise, it's not happening. Um, but 90 block, 95 steal and perimeter, 88 interior um not a good rebounder but 86 speed 85 speed of ball 80 excel with a 95 lateral quickness mostly he's an elite defender offensively he looks okay can't rebound really at all that's kind of surprising but uh he's got gold fast twitch blinders catch and shoot claymore corner specialist guard up unpluckable anchor ankle braces challenger chase artist clamps glove interceptor pick dodger post lockdown pogo stick brick wall um open looks spot finder where else Let's see. Physical handles, fast feet, high right sticker burn, 94 feet. Really, the only defensive badge that he does not have is a movable enforcer that I can tell. Uh, and I think a movable enforcer is a pretty good badge, but the fact that he's as complete as he is already defensively is is really nice. I mean, he's got gold anchor. He's got brick wall. He's got all the perimeter badges, all the uh, transition badges like uh, fast feet, 94 feet, and all that type of stuff. Right stick ripper, the next gym badges. Like, he's got a lot, to, a lot to like. I will say his between the legs burst is definitely going to be his best one. I mean, his, it's definitely by far his best, uh, his best because like his front escape is not very good oh that is terrible that, that hardened escape is just is just garbage man i don't think move it wise this card's gonna be very good in general i'm gonna be honest i don't think you're doing much dribbling with him even if you put a ball handle shoe on him and a coach like i still don't think you're gonna be dribbling the ball very much with this card so to me like i'm slightly late on that let's figure out this release there we go early that's green okay so this release is nice it's pretty butter nice straight up and down green easy release not to mention he's an elite slasher well not an elite slasher but he's an okay slasher pretty good and then he, he is an elite defender that's what he is uh so i'm really Really excited to try out this Jade McDaniels card on the defensive end of the court. He's like a primary lock on one end of the court, and then just a really good three hunter's got good athletic ability on the other. Reminds me a lot of like a Jonathan Isaac card in previous years. I think that's a very good comparison for Jaden McDaniels in my team, and I think he is legitimately one of the very best rubies in the game because he's an elite defender, and that's one of the most important things. Offensively, you can hide him next to a couple guys who can score the ball. Let's hop into a game, see what Jaden McDaniels can do. All right, I'm the difference has both of the amethyst duos that get to diamond from this dynamic duo set that came out on Friday, as well as pink diamond and beat. Pretty good squad, honestly. Um, taking advantage of those duos, the one thing he doesn't have, obviously, is an interior big, though. So, uh, well, I mean, he has an interior big, a stretch big at the five, I should say. That's what I meant to say. Uh, I'm going to try my best to run my offense through Jaden McDaniels, but I also am very aware of his offensive limitations. He doesn't move well. Shot creation is certainly not his strong suit. So, we'll do the best we can, but uh, he is very much an off-the-ball card. For the most part, like I think that's going to be your best bet in terms of consistently at least scoring with Jaden McDaniels is just as a catch and shoot guy. That's the only time he's really going to get that many opportunities. But there you go, got a mid range opportunity first possession. This guy I'm playing, by the way, is is just part of the off ball gang that per is so common in this game at this point, which is a real shame. But there's so many people who play like this, just sit in the corner every single uh, every single play on their center and just do nothing else. They're not skillful at all, and yet it's very competitive. It's just pretty pretty effective play style, unfortunately. Uh, it is what it is, though. Let's go pick a pop here. Let's see what we can get going kobe reject the screen attack downhill beautiful attack and dump it down to Jaden mcdaniels who's gonna drop step back out to the corner oh i thought i was gonna get some space there i'm gonna get an offensive three too because he's just dancing around in the paint why is he just... whatever okay it's all right that's annoying but it is what it is uh i felt like i was pretty close to getting an open three or something open i might have had to finish there at the rim or something with Jaden mcdaniels but it is what it is watch this back door good d and i guard it perfectly and he finishes anyway cool Staying in between the defender and the basket. I'm there. I wall up, and he just gets the right animation and finishes. So, all right. Fun start to this game, man. This dude's sitting off ball every single play, doing absolutely nothing on the defensive end of the court, and just letting his CPUs play for him. And then offensively, he's uh, terrible, too. So, 
I enjoy playing this game. It's so much fun to play against people like this. Regardless, wide open three ball for Jaden McDaniels. He knocks it down. Very nice shot. He's got five points so far. This dude sucks, and I should beat him pretty easily. If I wasn't doing a gameplay, I would definitely beat him easily. But no, he's terrible. I'm going to beat this dude. Um, so it's good that I'm going to beat him. I just still think play styles like this are an embarrassment. Good dump down to, to, to Wimby. Wimby finishes, and it's 7-2 to two right now. And uh, we're dogging him out right now. Love to see it. Jaden McDaniels. I got him on Kobe, by the way. Uh, I think Kobe, I expected that Kobe would probably be more of the primary ball handler in this game. But I just want to see what he can do defensively, man. I should off ball. Actually, you know what? I want to see you try to flip the score on the off ball. I, I'm going to switch the. Oh, good shot, actually. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. I respect it. Good move. Okay. I see you. I see you. That was good offense. He created some separation. I respect it. Um, pick and pop here again. And let's see if we can get around the screen this time. He has brick wall. I would have expected the screen setting to not be quite as hard. But apparently that's wrong. Catch, shoot, assist. It's great offense. I got a wide open three. I'll take it. Like I, I missed it. With I missed a wide open three with my favorite card in the game. Like I, I guess it is what it is at the time. At the end of the day, I feel like that was very good offense and created a very good shot. And the result wasn't three points, but I'm okay with it. Um, and I guess we are now fun, fun, fun going to be in a one point game because we just got stripped. Damn it, that's really annoying. That missing that open three ball is actually very annoying. Maybe he'll help off of uh, Jaden McDaniels. Maybe dot the corner or something i'm trying i'm trying man i want to score with this card so bad but i just don't think that's really that's not really his role i mean he's already got five points and that's that might be where we cap out at this game who knows we'll try to get a couple more pick and pops or something but um with the way this dude's playing i just got to make sure i win you know what i mean contest here beautiful stuff go under the screen here if he's gonna yep beautiful get through it get through it oh get back did i get back in time i did not good shot i thought i was gonna be able to get back i probably could have i just played it wrong um but back to the pick and pop, though. Go, yep, as you go back to your off ball, you're so tough, bro. This dude is a dog. Like, said no one ever. He's freaking terrible. Uh, blow by. Let's go. Jaden McDaniels. He does have some athletic ability, and he gets to the rim and finishes. He may not have every finishing badge you'd ask for, but he definitely can get to the rim. Blows by Braun there and gets downhill, and that is... I mean, if you're going to attack with him, you got to be decisive. You're not doing it off of drill moves. He doesn't have the, the SIGs or the badges to do it off of drill moves. Like, you're just going to have to be decisive if you're trying to attack off the dribble. That's a little... Just got stuck. Good, good, good offense, I guess. This dude is terrible, bro. I can't stand playing against people like this. He just sits in the corner every single play on defense. Um, and then offensively, he can't, like, he just runs around in circles every single play, and it works. It's, oh, it's so frustrating the way that people can play in this game and have success. I mean, it is, it's absolutely pathetic this year, especially. Uh, throw it in, Wimby. Not good offense, honestly, but it results in a bucket. We'll take it. He got a good animation. Seven points, two assists. See if we can get ourselves a couple stops, man. Um, Maybe I should have put McDaniels on. Okay. Why, why is Dante DiVincenzo switching on to Shaq, bro? Why? Why are we doing that? Like, I... <sighs> okay. If I lose this game, man, y'all might see me break something. No, that's not true. I'm not going to. But I will be annoyed if I lose this game. People who play like this, having success literally ruins my day. I'm not kidding. It's it's miserable, and it shouldn't work, and it does. Backdoor, Jaden McDaniels, good dunk. We'll take it. He's got nine points. It's better offensive than I expected, honestly. Um, and apparently his COVID, bro. His Kobe apparently has slashing take, not sharp. That's annoying. I'm not guarding Shaq. I don't care. I'm not guarding Shaq. I refuse. If you're going to play like this, I'm not guarding your center. I refuse. I'm not doing it. Your, your center who can't shoot the ball, we're not guarding him anymore. I'm beating this dude. Um, let's go finish this game out real quickly. Maybe he'll help off of uh, Jaden McDaniels, but otherwise I am attacking the rim with Kobe, and I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to try to stick dunk and get that animation, apparently. Um, slip the screen. Throw it behind him. It's not open. Back up top. All right. We got a score here. Um, attack the rim. Come on, Jaden. Draw a foul or something. Damn, he helped out the corner. A good, a good offense on, or good defense, honestly. Uh, get it back to Kobe. Back to this pick and pop. This is our uh, opportunity to finish it out. Beautiful drive. Come on, Kobe. This game blows. Like I get blocked. Oh my gosh, bro. Get a stop. Get a stop. Get a bro. What am I? I'm trying not to get mad. This game sucks. This game really sucks. This Jaden McDaniel's card is pretty good. Uh, that is the conclusion. But I just lost. This game sucks. The dude I just lost to sucks. And there's a reason I complain. Let's just put it that way. Regardless, we lose this game. I still think Jade McDaniels is very good. Uh, I think he's one of the best Ruby cards in the game. Nine points, two assists, four or five, one on one from three. Solid offensively, defensively, he's great. Somehow we lost that game. It is what it is. That's 2K for you sometimes. I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.